Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science and before you start the exercise, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and share with your classmates. Now let's go for our solution step by step. The wall crane supports a load of 700 pounds. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the pins A and D. Also, what's the force in the cable at the winch W? So first, we're going to divide our problems in our free body diagrams. So first, I'm going to find here the force in the cables at the pulley E. So here I have my 700 pounds and here I have my two tensions that are the same because the same hope. So here sum of forces in y direction is equal to zero. 2t minus 700 is equal to zero. So here my t is 350 pounds. Now we're gonna deal with this other free body diagram. But since the exercise doesn't give us the radius of the pulley, we're gonna put all the forces located in the pins A, B, and C. And here we already answer our question. Since the cables go from E to our winch W, so the tension in the winch W is equal to 350 pounds. So here is our first answer. Now we're going to do our free body diagram. So here I have A, here I have B, and here I have C. So here is C, here is B. Now I'm going to put our uh, forces. Here I have AY, here I have AX, here I have my force B, D, and my angle of 45 degrees. Here I have my cable force that is 350 pounds with an angle of 60 degrees. Here I have a 350 pounds that our tension and this tension comes from this part of our rope. Also, we have our 700 pounds located at C. Why 700? Because we have these two ropes here. And since we don't have the dimension of the radius, we are concentrated them in the pin C. And here, pointing to the left, is our action reaction for our of 350 pounds for this part of the rope here. So we can start doing the sum of the moments about point A is equal to zero because we have enough information to find our force BD. So here we have force BD times sine of 45 degrees times 4 minus 300 pounds, 250 pounds times sine of 60 times 4, that's our distance, minus 700 times 8 is equal to 0. So here we have our force at BD is equal to 2,408.6 pounds that we're going to use 240, 2,409 pounds for our force BD. Now we can apply the sum of forces at x direction is equal to zero. We have AX minus force BD cosine of 45 degrees minus 350 cosine of 60 degrees and this plus 350 that's this first one here and here is our number two so minus 
50 is equal to 0. Here we know that cancels, so our AX is equal to 1878.1 pounds. So here is our X component of our reaction A. And now the sum of forces at Y direction is equal to 0. So we have a y plus force b d times sine of 45, 45 degrees minus 350 sine of 60 degrees minus 700 is equal to 0. So our a y is equal to 700 pounds pointing upwards so here is our uh, forces at the pin a now to finalize we have the force at our member b d so here is our b a d here is our d we have our force that's our force B D that's equal to two thousand four hundred and nine pounds, and here our reactions D X and D Y. Here we have our angle of forty five degrees. So here we can do the sum of forces in X direction is equal to zero. The force B D times cosine of 45 degrees minus dx is equal to zero. So our dx is equal to 1,703 pounds. Applying the force for the y direction is equal to zero. We have dy minus fbd sine of 45 degrees is equal to zero so our dy is also 1703 pounds so thanks for watching until the end don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and if it's possible comment what you uh, if you're liking or not the videos thank you so much see you in another video